just got done a two hour kids trip with teenagers and two adults. But, as I always say, I want to follow up. I wanted to show you my new shark rods. I got them the other day. They came early. But that's, here they are. They are Star EX70407 footers, 30 to 50. And let me tell you, these, to quote Orwalk, I told him about them. He I said, these things are meat movers. And he came up with a saying, these are to move meat that don't own no feet. And that's right. Now, I originally thought I was ordering ones with the anti-foul guides, but these got the turbo guides all the way up. What they call turbo guides. And I'll give you a bend test here and show you. Let me stick it here. I'll show you the bend test. There ain't no tip on these to snap. So I got my Finor Sportsman or Sport Fishers on there loaded with hairs, female hairs long female hairs um, 40 pound mono the high viz go into a big old knot here which is fine comes through the guys okay then it goes to mason hard type nylon and then from the mason hard type nylon i go to a big snap ball bearing snap and then from there i go to my 90 pound nylon cable so there's the rods as, as i said in my initial video the only reason i ever got away from these style rods is because kids can't pick them up very easy and little women can't pick them up very easy because it's quite a rod it's quite a rod this is a star aerial that's the lowest grade that they make they probably come out of the same factory as the god dang ugly sticks because they're wrapped up the same way. They got the, the the emblem wrapped around with the with the plastic over it. And then they got the little loopity dupe string with the star rod tag. They're all packaged up the same way as the ugly sticks are. So that's a real meat mover right there, folks. So I can't wait till we do another black tip trip and somebody is going to get back on the bandwagon here of Meat Mover.
I thought I was ordering the ones with the with the anti foul snake guides, but I might get four more. Maybe a little lighter than this. These are actually supposed to be pretty light, though. I mean, they're 20 to or 30 to 50 pound line, three quarter to four ounces. Man, could you put a lot more than four ounces on this? So, I was happy with them, but I can tell you one thing. When they came from the warehouse from, uh, I don't know, they came from the Star, right? the Star Warehouse, they came from South Carolina. So, I don't know if they came from Star, because Star is part of the, what is it, Calcutta brand, I believe. Calcutta, it's all that same brand. I believe they're in South Carolina. So I don't know if these are coming from South Carolina with from Star or if they're coming from South Carolina, West Marine. But I'll put in a series of pictures of how they came in the box. Not nearly the same as the box that came from Walmart with the ugly sticks in it. That was exemplary packaging. These were a box. They had plastic over them with some bubble stuff wrapped around the tip and they were all shoved in one box. But these rods are tough enough. They can take probably some abuse. These are e-glass, thick, thick, thick. For the average person, this ain't the rod. This isn't your fairy wand. This is a meat mover. These ain't your fairy wands and your flats boat kind of deal. Okay. So, there you go. I told everybody I was going to show you my new rods when I got them. I got them. I took them for a ride this morning on this two-hour kids trip. Just so we, I could show them to you when I got back to the dock. Next, we'll get some video of them bending and moving some meat that don't own no feet. Come on!